plaintiff, Melissa Burns, dated the defendant and allowed him to move in with her and her daughter. Melissa claims after the defendant moved in, he physically abused her twice. So she had him arrested and filed a restraining order against him. Melissa's suing her ex for breach of contract. Defendant Troy Gadd says he still cares about Melissa and her daughter and always thought they would get back together. But the last time he was in jail, Melissa went out with a man whom she had previously cheated on him with. Troy says Melissa is suing for more than he owes. Start with you. Okay, um, me and Troy have known each other since second grade. We started dating about three years ago. I let him move in with me. He promised to pay the bills and everything, which didn't All happen. All or half, or what was the agreement? He was supposed to pay the rent. All? Yeah, the rent, okay. and I would pay the all. Electric. Yeah, all the rent, okay. <laughs> and I would pay the or the electric. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he was good with my daughter. She's five years old, and she loves him to death. But um, he was abusive at two points in my life: one during the beginning, and one during the end. In what way? Um, we got physical. It never got physical. It got physical. You know it In what way? Tell me. He says no. Oh, um, he ended up uh, hitting me in my face, which he did get arrested for the last he time. He did? Yeah. And he pleaded guilty to that. And Is I that got true? A... I pled guilty to harassment, yes. I got... Were you arrested for hitting her? I was arrested for harassment. The, the statement was that I was hitting her, but I never Let's hit see her. it. You say... I don't have the statement. I have the order of protection. And it reads what? Let's see it, please. Okay. I always like to get through lies when we first begin, so I'll know <laughs> who has the credibility from there on. All right, and he pled guilty. Yes. But were you arrested for hitting her? I was arrested for harassment. The statement was that I was hitting her, but I never Let's see it. I always like to get through lies when we first begin, so I'll know <laughs> who has the credibility from there on. Plaintiff Melissa Burns dated the defendant, but she claims she had him arrested and filed a restraining order against him after he assaulted her. Sir, did you have a hearing on the uh, order here, protection order? Uh, yes, sir. And what happened there? Uh, I didn't really say anything about it, sir. No, you do. You say, I did mm -hmm. it or I didn't. Uh, no, I, mean, I said I didn't, but... And they issued a restraining order anyhow? Yes, sir. That means they didn't believe you. Pardon? Yes, sir. All right. What else you want me to know? At the end of our relationship, he ended up, I found text messages between him and his ex-girlfriend that were stating about, oh, I want, I want to come see you. At the end, meaning you all had broken up? No, we weren't broken up okay. yet. This is what pushed me to the end mm -hmm. of breaking up with him. All right. Let me allow him to give some background, then we'll get to the breach of contract, sir. Uh, well, Your Honor, I just want to start out. Uh, I care about Melissa very much. I care about her daughter very much so. Um, I always had felt deep down that we would end up back together. Um, however, the last time I was in jail, uh, she ended up going out with the guy that she cheated on me with back in January or June of last year. Um, when I got out of jail, she had been dating him. That's when she told me that it was over mm -hmm. and I had to move out. I mean, I never cheated on her. You know, she wouldn't admit that she did to me. And then finally, after like months of denying it, she finally said that she had. All right. Tell me about the contract you're suing him for, 3800 I let him claim my daughter for the taxes last year, for the 2013 taxes. He was supposed to give me half the taxes. Did you all marry? No. Or something? But he was living did at my house. Did he adopt your child? No. Okay, that was illegal. They told me that it was fine because... Who told you that exactly? The people. The IRS people? No, the people at the... The tax... Uh, all right. And yeah. You have the tax form that they filled out for you? And the I company... have the taxes for the child tax credit. All right. Income. And you told them the child was totally unrelated to him? They put it down as... Let's see it. They put it down as what? Daughter. They put it down as, as a what? daughter. As daughter. Yeah. All right, so you because lied to was, them. He was living with them. Um, yeah, but that's a lie. That's what Go I ahead. didn't understand, so. Pardon me? I didn't understand that. You didn't understand that she wasn't no. his daughter? <laughs> Is there some questions there? I know y'all talking about cheating. No. Oh, well, she said it's your daughter. <laughs> How old is the daughter? Five. 
Five? Have you paid your child support? It's not my child. Huh? It's not my child. You say it is. <laughs> he filed his taxes, therefore what? He was supposed to give me half of the taxes. Still of... want half? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go to jail with him. <laughs> it was illegal. Oh, the agreement it. was he was to give you half of the taxes for the illegal tax returns that he filed. <laughs> All right. Call the feds and let them know that the plaintiff has admitted to scamming the government <laughs> with the... No, he didn't pay you, though, did he? All right, so you off. Now, what, <laughs> what is the balance for? Um, the 1350 was money that I've lent to him throughout, like, 10 months. We never kept a record of it, okay. of what I gave him, but we both figured it out. It was like 1500 and he agreed to pay me 1350 of it. All right, he agreed to pay 1350 sir. Um, as far as the taxes go, I don't feel... You better leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, go right ahead. <laughs> I, just, I just don't feel that I owe her um, because I did support her and her daughter. I was the only one working in the household. I was giving her money for herself and for her daughter the whole time that we were together. All so. right. You're not going to be liable for that uh, because it was not a legal contract. All right. So what about the 1350? Um, I mean, I do owe her. Uh, I have paid some of it. I've paid at least $200 of it. In a so you think you only owe 1150? Yes, sir. All right. Ma'am, did no. they give you 200? No, he didn't. When do you say you gave it to her? Uh, between March and May of this year. It was like five payments, about $40, $45 a piece. All right, man, why would he lie about this little amount? And if <laughs> he was going to lie, he'd lie about some big amount, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, he wasn't working, though, so. That's why he only gave you $40. No, it, no. It, makes, it makes sense. You didn't understand that she wasn't no. his daughter? <laughs> Is there some questions there? I know y'all talking about cheating. No. Oh, well, she said it's your daughter. Plaintiff Melissa Burns dated the defendant, but she claims she had him arrested and filed a restraining order against him after he assaulted her. I'm going to conclude that he only owes eleven fifty. I believe him. I don't believe he, even though he is a little scam artist. Uh, he may not have known, like you claim to have not he known. He did write me a promissory note, though, saying that when he got the taxes, uh -oh. he would give them back. There's two he of them. He would give... There's two of them. How much, though? Half the taxes, and... All right, we just went over that. Okay, but he did get paid the tax money. Right, illegally. Oh, okay. You still want some of this illegal money? <laughs> <laughs> 1150 is your judgment, ma'am. I believe he gave you $200. He was going to lie. He'd lie about more than $40 here and there. All right, 1150 is your judgment. Have a good day. I would like for us to work it out. I mean, I care about her. She was my family for three years. You know, I don't want to lose her and, and my daughter, you know. You're a piece of scumbag. Leave me alone. I don't want nothing to do with you, and you lied about the $200 that you gave me. You never did.